So, and welcome to my first tutorial about Spring Security. So, what is Spring Security at all? Spring Security is a part of Spring Framework which handles authorization and authentication in Java web applications, which means it makes their content secure. So, why should we even use Spring Security? The most obvious reason would probably be because it's easy to implement. Uh, it's easy to implement even to like uh, projects made with Vadin web application framework and not just in uh, web uh, projects made with uh, Spring MVC. But uh, nevertheless, in this case, I'll demonstrate implementation of Spring Security on Spring MVC project. So for that, I'll use my Eclipse ID and also I installed Spring Tool Suite plugin. You can also install Spring Tool Suite plugin by going help Eclipse Marketplace. Now you can type in something like Spring Tool. And you will install Spring Tool Suite uh, depending on version of your Eclipse ID. Version of mine, uh, Eclipse ID is 4.4 Luna. As you can see, I already installed this plugin. So now I'll create a new Spring MVC project by going new, file new other, and choosing Spring project. Let's click next. Let's choose Spring MVC project. Project name will be like Spring Security Tutorial. Okay. Uh, top level package will be like Work Java Spring Security. Okay. Let's click Finish. And let's wait until Maven resolves our dependencies. This web dynamic project is by default Maven project. Let's open one controller. Let's delete content from home method. Let's delete this and this too. Let's reformate everything. Let's also delete this. And as you can see, this home method returns a home page, which is in SRC, main, web app, web inf, views, and here it is. Let's delete this too. And let's make this like hello from public page. Okay. Now I'll try to I'll create another page called let's call it private page and I'll say like hello from private page okay and I'll also create mapping for this private page I'll call, I'll create a method called like string private page. Okay, let's say return private page. The request mapping will be module. Like admin private page. Uh, request method will be get, of course. Okay, now let's run this on, on the server. Okay, as you can see, default page is uh, home page. It says hello from public page. Now I'll say admin 
this hash private page. And as you can see, this page, private page ASP, is also public. And now our goal would be to protect this page from access to everyone. Let's make it private for something who has, who, for only admins, for instance. Let's go back to our Eclipse ID. And uh, now it's moment when we are implementing Spring Security. So first thing we are going to do, we'll open our Spring folder under WebINF, app server and server context, and we will update this external schema. Okay. Don't worry, you have this on my GitHub profile. I'll push this project on my GitHub profile, of course. Uh, now let's add Spring Security dependencies in our form XML. Okay. Let's open form XML source. Now let's paste those dependencies and wait for Maven to resolve them. Okay. Let's close form XML and let's now open web XML. Let's paste this filter so we can use Spring uh, Security. Okay. Now I'll create a new Spring Bean definition uh, XML file called Security Text. XML in my app servlet folder and I'll paste this schema and close everything with beans beans okay and I'll pass URL to this security context file in my context param which is in web XML so I'll click enter here as a param value, and I'll say web inf spring absolute security context dot xml, and that should be fine. Let's close the web, uh, web xml file, and let's start with uh, protecting of our private page. So first thing I'll do is to say HTTP and I'll say uh, autoconfig true. Okay. And here I'll define URL which is going to be intercepted by Spring Security. So this URL will be secured. And that URL is admin. I can set that to admin private page but also I can set admin slash asterisk, which means that every URL that follows admin will be secured. And it can be only accessed if user has a role. Okay. Called role admin. And here, down below, we'll define our new user in authentication provider. So I'll say authentication manager, then I'll say authentication provider, and user service, uh, user, name of this user will be admin, uh, password admin also, and authorities will be role admin. Okay, now let's run this again. So this should be minimalistic configuration for uh, Spring Security. So let's run it again on the server. Okay, let's restart server. Now let's try again to access to our admin private page. 
and as you can see you will be prompted to log in with your credentials now let's type something like random and let's try to log in and it will draw us an error which says your login attempt was not successful try again reason bad credentials and now let's actually try to log in with uh, valid credentials which is admin admin and as you can see, we are redirected to our private page. So that should be it for this first tutorial. See you in the next tutorial where I'm going to explain you uh, hashing of passwords.